Hi YouTube. Welcome back to my channel for another logo designing tutorial. Make sure to watch to the end of the video, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. First get rid of our fill color, and make stroke points as 5 points. Now go to the polygon tool and create a path while holding shift and alt keys. Now grab the selection tool and rotate twice the path, while holding the shift key. Now select the rectangle tool and create one like this. Now go to the transform section and rotate this rectangle by 30 degrees. Now move that path to middle of our hexagon, lower side should cross the center of the hexagon. Now select both paths, go to the pathfinder tool and press minus front command. Now align this paths to the center using align panel. Get a copy of this path's shortcuts are Ctrl C and then Ctrl F now right click on one of the copies and press ungroup. Grab the pen tool and draw some lines like this on your artboard. You should start on the opposite side from the corners so then you can easily finish your line across the anchor points. Now select one of the copies of the previous path and all the line that we created, go to the pathfinder tool and press on divide command. Right click on the path and press on group. Now select this path and press delete key on your keyboard. Delete this path too. Now left click on this little path and get a copy of that path. Select this path and one of the copies, then go to Pathfinder tool and click on Unite command. Now select the remaining copy and this upper path and click on Unite command once again. Now we have this three paths for our lower section of our logo. Now let's do the same for this upper section as well. Get a copy of this path. Select one of the copies and this path. Go to the Pathfinder tool and click on Unite command. Now do the same for other path. Now we're all done. Now right click on this path and ungroup it. Now go to the polygon tool and create a small hexagon like this, hold alt and shift keys while you're doing that. Now rotate this twice using selection tool. Now grab the pen tool and draw a line to the center from the below. Use smart guides to do that. Now draw that line towards this anchor point. Now click on the center and draw a line across this anchor point as well. Now select all the paths, go to the pathfinder tool and click on divide command. Now bring that paths to the center using horizontal and vertical center keys in align panel. Now right click on that path and click on ungroup. Now let's add some gradients to our logo. I have this color presets. You can download this color swatches from the link in the description. Select the gradient tool and drag across the path to change the gradient angle. Now let's add the blue color-ish gradient to our lower path. To change the gradient color, double click on this slider, then you can add colors to that slider. For next path, click on this path and add a gradient. Add the white color to both paths in this gradient. Change the opacity on one slider as 
change the other one as 20%. Add the same gradient to this path as well. Change this slider's opacity as 30%. Add the same gradient to this lower two paths too. Change the gradient angle however you like. Now select these paths and add this colors on your swatches that you downloaded. Now select the pen tool and create a triangle like this. You should start from the top left anchor point on this path and go around these lines like this. Add this darker red color to that path so it look like a shadow. Now draw another around this path as well. Add a darker blue color as well. Now select all the paths and get rid of all the strokes. Now this is our final logo design. If you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next tutorial.